Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here. In today's video, I will be covering my opinion and first impressions on update 0.9.6 now that it is in the live build. In a previous video, I covered everything that was added with this update, and I'll have that linked in the description. But after having time to play around with the features with actual players on actual servers, I'd like to take some time to just, you know, give my thoughts on them and what I think about this new update. So with no more delay, let's just get right into it. Starting off, we have the mode that this update specifically focused on, Conflict. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of Conflict, however the changes certainly have not helped with my disdain for the mode. On one hand, the changes to capturing and the increase in importance to logistics is awesome, and have helped the Reforger resemble the military scene that it seems to want to be. However, as one commenter said, the changes on paper are far better than they really are, and they really required other updates to come out first in order for these changes to work properly. Without proper AI, the logistical runs have to be done by more experienced players. With player count already quite low, this takes the very few players in a round and removes them from the front lines of combat. On top of this, removal of supporting AI and defender AI means that vast areas of the map are just empty, aside from the occasional FIA squad which, due to its upgraded nature, will see you, fire its entire ammunition of RPGs at you, and most likely kill you. This new gameplay dynamic is largely less fun than before and seems to be a significant downgrade. To fix it, I would suggest giving the HQ many more starting supplies, increasing the number of supporting AIs, and making sure every objective has defender AI, with the barracks providing additional defenders if built. So while conflict is awful, Game Master on the other hand has had some large changes for the positive. This positive change for me comes from a few aspects. First. Unlike in Conflict, AI is extremely powerful is a good thing, as by using AI to support and oppose players in the, is the entire way that Game Master mode can even be fun. The updates to their ability to use placed MGs, grenade launchers, and melee allows them to be used in more situations and in more creative ways, giving GMs more freedoms and creativity, as well as players more unique scenarios to respond to, which all around creates a more enjoyable experience for the player. The changes to quick place allow the GM to quickly reply to a situation occurring, spawning in extra supporter buildings when needed, and not needing to dig around the menus for nearly as long if they know how to properly set up their quick bar. Which just, again, highlights and streamlines the entire process of the GM, allowing more of the focus to be less on digging around menus and more on actually enjoying the game. And finally, the changes to Game Master voting has allowed for players to voice their concerns and replace a Game Master more efficiently than before, which allows for a more efficient removal of bad game masters, which is just a good thing overall. It means players won't have to sit and suffer through horrible game masters. So despite this update not being one that focused on game master, it ultimately is better for game master players than it is for conflict players. And that's strange because the update was focused on conflict, it wasn't meant to be for game master. In conclusion, this update really isn't the best. It failed to provide a better experience for the mode that it was focused on, but at the same time, it did manage to improve several elements of the game and improve the experience of Game Master players. That is all I've got for you guys today. Hopefully the new conflict has been treating you guys better than it has for me. But until next time, this has been Chris Reese. Ciao.